We're here with the Psycho Assassin S12. You've got a fatal four-way match tonight for the SPW television title. What's your game plan? Game plan? I don't need no game plan. I'm just gonna go out there and hurt people. And there you have it from S12. We're here at the Norfolk Scope with the SPW television champion, Sterling Williams. Tonight, you defend that title in a fatal four-way match. What's going to happen? Simply put, the same thing that always happens. Silver City prevails. I've defended this title against everyone. And thanks to my sensei, I've been able to keep my composure and retain this title after numerous late times being jumped by S12. Let's see, uh, Kevin Quill all of a sudden throwing temper tantrums left and right. And the only seem, person that seems to have my back is Diamond Victor Quill. So, I think my odds are just great. And I'm going to walk out of here, Norfolk Scope, the same way I walked in. Television chain. It's for the SPW TV title. It's a four-way. Well, you heard of Matthew Still, you heard Brian Blackbird. This is that for the SPW Television Champion, the Fatal Four Way. Our first competitor making his way to the ring from Blacksburg, Virginia, Diamond Victor Griff. That's right, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is bedazzled, he is sparkling. It is Diamond Victor Griff, my pick to win the whole thing here tonight. Well, definitely that's not a bad pick. Again, he is one of the stronger competitors we have here in SPW. Definitely a ring veteran. He's been wrestling for over six years, making his mark in the independent ranks and found a place, found a home here in SPW. That's right, Mr. Oglethorpe. We got Diamond Victor Griff. We got the fans showing their love in the crowd. Uprising 2 sold out. Norfolk Scope. Let's do this. That's right, Diamond Victor Griff showing some props to the fans, to the little kids. Everybody loves Diamond Victor Griff. He is definitely one of the fan favorites and one of the bigger competitors here in SPW. All I know is it's a fatal four-way match. So how are you going to have to choke out three people? What's going to happen? Well, definitely we're going to take a look at Diamond Victor Griff and one of his competitors here. The Psycho Assassin S12, you can see that definitely he's got a little bit of a height advantage. It definitely has got about 20 pounds of muscle on the Psycho Assassin. The Diamond Carotter versus that submission hold the crosshairs. We'll have to see how everything plays out. And there he is right there, the Psycho Assassin himself, S12. That's right, S12. My pick to win this whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. Psycho Assassin taught me the mist. I've been misted and I have missed, okay? Let's do this. Well, definitely the Psycho Assassin, one of the stranger competitors we have here, one of the more mysterious. And there's that mist that you spoke about earlier, Matthew Stone. Definitely got some fans in his favor. Making his way to the ring. Look, hold up the sign says S12 is God. I, I, I beg to differ, but he is a good wrestler. My God, he missed it, the sign. That dude's going to be dead. It's, oh, oh, that guy just licked it. Lick it. That guy just licked the sign. What is that about? I don't know, but that dude's going to be dead in three minutes, okay? I, the only reason I survived the miss was the ancient dojo recipe, okay? We're not going to see that dude later on. He's a fool for doing that, but we love our fans here at SPW. That's right, that poison mist, and for some reason he licked the poison mist right off the side. Look at the SPW super fans. They got something to say to S12. They think that Diamond Victor Griff is going to be the next SPW television champion. Well, fans, just think whatever they want, folks. But the only way we're going to find out is when this match begins. But right now, here comes my pick to win it all. That's right. It is a fatal four-way and making his way to the ring is going to be the, the thrill. Kevin Quill from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Definitely one of the youngsters here in SPW, one of the taller, one of the stronger competitors. Definitely one of, a little bit... Got some rookie behind him, but he's still going to do what he came here to do, and that's win the SPW television title. You, I agree with you 100%, Mr. Oglethorpe. We got Kevin, the thrill quill, new attitude, Eddie Cannon. He knows what it takes to win. You don't need fans. You don't need friends. You just need wins. And he ain't leaving here without that television title. Mark my word. 
Again, Kevin Quill coming out with Eddie Cannon. Kevin Quill was a fan favorite. He was the All-American, so to speak, just a few months ago. But all the fans, all the turmoil, the die Kevin die chance has changed his attitude. He's come out with Eddie Cannon, showing the new attitude, and we've got a whole new Kevin Quill. That's right. He realized that Kevin Quill is one match away from being television champion. Matter of fact, everybody realizes that whoever wins this match leaves the television champion. So all I gotta say is let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Norfolk Scope, Uprising 2, Matthew Stone, Mr. Oglethorpe, Bobby Cruz, let's do this. That's right. Everybody knows what's at stake. The, the winner of this match, you're right, Matthew Stone, is going to walk out of here the SPW television title. The stakes have never been bigger for either of these competitors here in the ring. And again, a look at the tail of the tape. We're going to see Kevin Quill. We're going to see the Sterling Williams. Look at that. Look at the height difference. Not much, but definitely a lot of weight loss on the part of Sterling Williams. Definitely one of the smaller, but definitely one of the more agile and quicker competitors we have here in SPW. Yeah, long, you know, little story that people may not know, Kevin Quill and Sterling Williams, they used to live together in, in Virginia Beach, but they broke up, he, start, he started the Silver City crew, Kevin Quill's never forgive him, this is, this is a vendetta match right here for Kevin Quill. And again, you can't forget about the Psycho Assassin S12, uh, Sterling Williams and S12, they used to be the Silver City crew together. And Sterling Williams making his way out to the ring with my hero Shorty, the, the dojo master. That's right. Don't mess with Shorty. He will drop you, son. Trust me, I know. I messed with him once. I'll never do it again. I couldn't believe it, but he handled me, and that's hard to do. All I know is that I hope general manager and senior ring official Bobby Cruz can keep composure in this matchup. Again, four men, four fast, four agile, four young wrestlers here in this ring. I don't even know what kind of action we're about to see, Matthew Stone. I know what kind of action we're going to see, Mr. Oglethorpe. Awesome wrestling action. The only wrestling action you can get here at SPW Uprising 2. We got four of the best wrestlers in the world today, and they're about to go at it right now. Bobby Cruz just showed off the prize, just showed off the gold. They asked it all four competitors if they're ready. Look at the psycho assassin down there in the corner trying to psych himself up for this matchup. That's right. Who's going to make the first move? It's like a Mexican, Asian, everybody standoff. Let's do this. That's right. We definitely don't discriminate here in SPW. It definitely makes the matches that much better. No, Neither man looking to be... Too anxious to pull the trigger and get this matchup underway. Oh, Kevin Quill trying to step in, trying to get a piece of Sterling Williams. Diamond Victor Griff wants his piece, but oh, look, Psycho Assassin S12 clubs Sterling Williams in the back of the head. Oh, the double Asian chop. That's right. This, this match finally broke down. There's going to be so much action. It's going to be hard to call. Oh, that springboard to that kick right off the top rope. Diamond Victor Griff stopping a mud hole and Kevin Quill. That's right. We got S12 thrown to the outside. Kevin Quill to the outside. Now we have what the fans wanted to see. DBG and Sterling Williams. Here we go. And a lot of people think that it's going to come down between these two men. And I, I definitely wouldn't bet against them. Irish whips to the ropes reverse. Ducks the close line. Oh, my goodness. Sterling Williams with that suicide dive right to the Gaddy Cannon. And Kevin Quill on the outside. S12 with a clubbing blow right to the back of, of DBG's head. Taking a right to Diamond Victor Grill. That's right. I couldn't believe it. He must have jumped 12 feet over that top rope right to the concrete floor. You got S12 dropping knees to the knee of DBG. That was a shorter block in the corner of the ring. I don't know what you're watching, Matthew Stone. Get it right. All oh, that Irish whip right into that turnbuckle, right to that steel ring post. And I rank right on the rope now by the part of Psycho Assassin S12. Don't correct me, son. I know what I'm talking about. I've been announcing for 27 years. A devastating chop from S12. Oh, so that, that, that Asian uppercut, if you will. Oh, the double Asian chop finds his mark. Kevin Quill, all oh, that stun gun right across the ring barrier. That's right. Start him first. DBG sends S12. Start him first as well. Double knees to the back. Oh, oh and it flips him inside out. DB, oh, and that kick right to the face. Kevin Quill comes right after Diamond Victor Grip. Kick to the face, bloody blow, knees to the back. So much action. My goodness, Matthew Stone. Oh, no, can I say something? Jesus. All I know is you can't celebrate in a four-way dance till you win. You saw what happened. Victor Grip celebrated, and he got caught. 
Kevin Quill now has the upper hand, throws him in the ropes. Oh, devastating knee to the bread basket. That's right. You almost need eyes at the back of your head to keep up with all the action, to keep up with all where all your competitors are. Again, Sterling Williams still on the outside. S12 on the ring apron on the outside. Oh, and that European uppercut by the part of Kevin Quill takes Diamond Baker Griff right into the corner. That's right. He's adding a couple new moves to his repertoire because he has had that new attitude. I can't believe Sterling Williams is still in this match after that flip over the top rope, folks. Irish whip it to the turf up Kevin Quill. Oh, he misses that flying forearm. Oh, look, S12. Oh, my goodness, that high knee almost attacks and decapitates. Kevin Quill, look at S12 choking Diamond Vicar Griff there on the ring rope on the outside. That's right, what's going to happen? Up. Look at this huge, oh, that was a beautiful standard suplex. That's right, here's the count. Oh no, S12's going to break it up, you can't win that easily. you got to somehow make sure that everybody else is down and you can get that win. In a four-way dance, it's nearly impossible. But one man tonight is going to leave the SPW Television Champion. That's right, it's not trying to uh, eliminate, it's trying to annihilate your opponent. Like that clothesline there. And look at Sterling Williams choking out Kevin Quill. Kevin Quill fighting back with some knees and some forearms. Oh, and that right hand by Donovan Vicar Griff. That's right, folks. It has broke down here right now. We got both men in the corner. What we gonna have to happen here? Right hands by both men. The ten count. The ten punches in the corner. Oh, the stun gun. Oh, the snake eyes right in the turnbuckle. Bro, that was that almost looked like a tag team move right here. But there are no tag. There may be an old tag team in here. What's gonna happen with S12? And there it is. Oh, there they meet up. The former City Silver crew, Silver City crew. Uh, S12, oh, Irish whips in that high kneel, Diamond Baker Griff on the elbow, and the shoulder butt right in the bread basket. The kill shot, my goodness, Matthew Stone. That's right, I don't get it. I knew you couldn't trust these two. All teammates, they always work together. Well, what's going to happen when it comes down to them two, though? Are they going to fight each other? Let's find out. If that's the way it has to be, that's the way it has to be. Setting it up, look at this, oh, a neck breaker. Oh, the DDT, my goodness. Nip up from Kevin Quill, showing the skill of Kevin Quill, if you will. Diamond Baker Griff sets him up. Oh, my Ooh. God, there is the rock bottom. It's over. He's got him in that anaconda vice. Then all he has to do is tap, and it's over. Yeah. Diamond Baker Griff will be the new SPW Television Champion. That's right. He's moments away. Still, the Silver City Crew's on the outside. Kevin Quill's about to tap. What's going to happen, That's folks? One drop of the arm. Two drop of the arm. One more. This matchup is over. That's it. Oh, Sterling Williams saves the arm, and he's got him in a submission hold of his own. Yeah, I'd hate to be Kevin Quill right now. Oh, devastating senton on Sterling Williams from his former partner, just proving there are no friends in a four-way dance when the title's on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we gotta, I got to give it up to Bobby Cruz, able to keep composure in this matchup, trying to keep everything in line, doing a great job of officiating. Again, there's so much action. I don't know how he can keep up with it. Oh, my goodness. That, that spinning roundhouse kick. Oh, my goodness, the diamond cutter. My I can't believe what we're seeing right here is just move after move. Kevin Quill, what's he going to do? Him up. Oh, my oh. goodness, that zigzag maneuver. It's over. He goes for the pin now. One, two. S12 again there to break it up. That's the second time S12 has, has saved this matchup. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This kind of match, we couldn't deal with the SPW WrestlePlex. It's too insane. We had to take it to the Norfolk Scope to try to contain it, and it barely is contained it, ladies and gentlemen. Look, S12 trying to get Kevin Quill on his side. Kevin Quill says, I have none of that. Needed the bread basket. Forearm to the back. Oh, and forearms right to the shoulder, right to the face of S12. That's right. You can't trust the psycho assassin, ladies and gentlemen. It just doesn't work. Look at that psycho. Robo. That's right. Running all oh. head, but right to the corner. Finds his mark right between the eyes of the psycho assassin. For real, he almost knocked. The, he did knock the face paint right off him, ladies and gentlemen. Psycho assassin looks dazed and confused. Diamond Victor Griff taking advantage, goes for the cover, but S12 able to reach down and find a way to kick out. That's right. It's too early in this match for somebody to win just yet. They are every man is hurt, but they still got a lot left in the tank. S12, uh, Sterling Williams sets him up. Oh, that springboard drop kick turns Diamond Victor Griff inside out. Look at his feet hanging on the ring rope, Matthew Stone. He might be Al Cole. This could be it right here. Oh, there's Sterling Williams. Uh, S12 again. Kevin Quill sneaks in, tries to get it covered just to one count. My goodness, the high paced action. Bobby Cruz is going to earn his paycheck here tonight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the kind of wrestling action we bring here at SPW. He's trying to set him up for another one. Oh, oh my there goodness. it is. He turns that sleeper into that zigzag. Goes for the cover now. One, two. Oh, that was Sterling Williams able to break up the counter. Break up the pinball. And good thing he did because he would have lost his television title. 
That's right. Kevin Quill had this match won. But Sterling had it. What is this right here? He's calling for the Silver City Destroyer. No, Kevin Quill turns it. Oh, he turns it into the Alabama Slam. Alabama Slam. That's right, Matthew Stowe. Kevin Quill trying to set up as Quill's got his foot on the outside. Oh, he gives DDG just the oh. they need it for another rock bottom. That's and it goes for another Anaconda Vice. You're right, Matthew Stone. This might be it. You can't take two of those and not tap out. What's S12 doing? Oh, oh he's getting kicked in the face by Sterling Williams. That's what he's doing. He climbed the top turnbuckle. Sterling Williams with that six foot four frame able to jump up and kick S12 right in the face. He sets him up for his his Silver City Sunrise. That's right, both men in submission hold. What's going to happen? They're both tapping. They're tapping. This matchup is over. Who tapped first? That's the question, Matthew Stone. Who tapped first? I think they both tapped at the same time. But what's Bobby Cruz going to do? He needs a microphone. Get this man a microphone before I slap you. I saw S12 tap first, so that means that Sterling Williams should be the champion. Oh, I know. Kevin Quill won this match. That's all I know. DBG had this match won. Excuse me. I'm upset right now. We definitely a look like Stern. Oh, there we go. They restarted the match. We got a roll up. Two, three. This matchup is over. Kevin Quill, the new SPW champion. What are you talking about? S12 won that match. I, I, he, had him, he had him hands down. That was Kevin Quill all the way. Now, once again, Bobby Cruz had lost control of this match. And definitely with all this action, oh, S12, they restarted the match, and he's not wasting any time going right after John and Victor Grill. Are you kidding me? This might be history, folks. They started the match for a third time. Oh, Kevin my Quill goodness. Kevin Quill misses to the outside. He's definitely reeling. Sterling Williams sets him up. Got him with a kick to the mid midsection. A couple forearms to the face. S12 fighting back with a forearm of his own. Oh, that double pressing kick. The shades of the Silver City crew coming back together. That double pressing kick finds its mark. Oh, the one person kick. Oh, the boot to the face. What's Sets this? him up. Oh, my goodness. He's got him on his shoulders. I can't believe this, man. This is Silver City crew vintage all over again. This is how they won the tag team titles in the first place. Oh, oh that gut buster there on the part of S12. Sterling Williams, oh, off the top of that huge frog splash. Matthew Stone, he almost touched the top of the arena. What is this? Some kind of rolling drill. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, Matthew Stone turns him inside out. Are you kidding me? I have never seen that move in my life, folks. Innovative wrestling maneuvers. Only kind that you'll get here at SPW. All I know, Sterling Williams is down. S12 is down. Everybody's down right Psycho now. Psycho Assassin S12 showing some innovation, showing some power with that rolling... German suplex there, almost, oh, he's calling for the end, he smells the end, he smells victory, Sterling Williams, oh, almost powerbomb, counters it, what's gonna happen, oh, my goodness, that's gotta be it, the Silver City Destroyer, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, I caught it, your winner, and still SPW Television Champion, Sterling Williams, I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen, somehow, some way, Sterling Williams pulled it off, come hell or high water, he got the job done, Silver City Destroyer on S12. I couldn't believe it. I thought Kevin Quill should have had this match won, you know, two restarts ago, ladies and gentlemen. But definitely Kevin Quill beside himself there, shorty in the ring. The dojo, the, the sensei of the dojo. Kevin Quill still not sure exactly what happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened, Kevin Quill. Sterling Williams won this match, won this fatal four way here at Uprising 2, Norfolk Scope. That's how it's done. That's right, Sterling Williams retains once again. For real, he's picking up, he's, he's just racking up win after win after win after win. Can anybody stop this guy, Sterling Williams? Well, Matthew Stone, we're going to have to say goodbye to you for just a minute. I know you got to go meet with the Army and two in the back to try to catch up with the new SPW Tag Team Champions. Well, wait, hold on, what's this? Kevin Quill making his way into the ring. I can't believe it. Kevin Quill swore a loser, but you know what? He got gypped out of this match. He deserves that title, and he just let Sterling Williams know what happened. Kevin Quill definitely having some words saying that he shouldn't have lost. Oh, it's not over, Matthew Stone. He sets him up. Oh, oh my goodness, another Canadian destroyer. All right, Matthew Stone, go. No, you got to go catch up with the Army too. Go get that interview. And you know, I hate running, boy, but I'm going. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night of action it's been, and we've still got a huge main event coming up. We're going to have the Dustman, Mark Anthony, in action, taking on a super heavyweight, Rikishi. But there you see the winner, the, the still SPW television champion, and S12 gave, gave it his all, put up a hell of a fight, but he just didn't make it on this night.